Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about uh, the products that enhances uh, our skin, gives our skin glow, radiance, dewiness, uh, sort of a, uh, skin embellishers, so to speak. Um, I have several products that I've been using for some for years, some recent discovery, some that were like, yeah, my regular go-to. Um, most of them are luxury, uh, high-end products because I find that that kind of uh, category of uh, makeup because it's sort of like a skincare, it's a part of your, um, uh, well, it's, it's a part of your makeup, but it's sort of like a skin, it's the way your skin looks like. It's not exactly eyeshadows or some, um, I don't know, brow gel, you know, that's different. That should be sort of like be almost integrated in your skincare uh, routine when you want your skin to look glowy and dewy. So let's start with um, this product. Uh, it's like more of a body uh, sort of an embellisher. Uh, this is by Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I showed this product before several times. Uh, I've been using this product maybe for over two years. I wouldn't advise to put it on your face, but if you want to look glowy and um, have a very nice uh, shimmer on your body, that's one of the most beautiful products. It is pricey, but as you can see, like how much I've used and normally this is my go-to in summer. I don't use it as a winter because first I don't go anywhere with a you know open uh, half body like like my arms normally I either in jumper or some thin blouse because it's not exactly warm inside in winter here in Barcelona. It's very nice for the legs, for the arms, décolleté. It dries off uh, instantly and it leaves a very nice shimmer on your body. It can a little bit transfer into the clothes, but you know, in summer we're not exactly, like it's, it's okay, it's no big deal. So, and it smells of coconut. So yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's one of. Okay, body-wise, this is my number one and this is what I go for. I picked up like my best top um, skin embellishers. One of the, this is I have like a three in the same category. These are like liquid highlighters slash skin enhancers. This Armani I also like this is my go-to, one of my favorite. I have it for a while already. This is um, the one that kind of a bronze highlighter. Um, like it's called the Fluid Sheer uh, Embellisher. You can use it in so many ways. I normally use it as of uh, liquid bronzer or I mix it with my moisturizer or serum, normal moisturizer. And uh, it's like sort of a base to my next step. Either I put foundation or I simply put some powder on top if I want to have easy going day and it gives glow and a little bit of tan, but in a very sheer way. It's wonderful. And as of a liquid, high, um, like a bronzer, it's also very nice. It's very sheer. It's, it's for those who likes very nice, natural, sheer, um, glow effect. It's very nice in the cheek. Right now I don't have it. Actually, no, I, yes, I mix it with my moisturizer today. So probably my skin looks a little bit more uh, bronzy. But I also have a bronzer a little bit, so a lot of mixtures here. Now, another as well for, from Armani, it's called Maestro Glow. This is basically a foundation. Uh, by face elixir it's called. Now you have to shake it. It's like skincare and foundation all together and a glow. It's a very glowy foundation. As of a foundation, I wouldn't advise you to use it unless you have a super dehydrated dry skin, but as of a highlight, I normally use it highlight on my cheeks mixing with a blush 
or I mix it with the foundation, which I did today. I mixed a, like a little bit of this with my um, foundation, which was not like which was quite high coverage. So this is a very nice way to dilute your foundation if it's a little bit high coverage and makes it more smoother and yeah, since it's by face you have to shake it. Most of the time I use it as a highlight on my cheek because it's a, you do you see, it's like really liquid. It's like a dropper. It's amazing actually to put it under your foundation as well and it will give you glow and then you kind of press maybe some um, maybe more high coverage foundation in the areas where they're more oily. So it's also an option. This is a very light shade. There are different shades it can be. This is very light. This is five, number five. I will go for 505, uh, 5.5. 5. If, if you have fair skin, this is really light. That's why I use it more of a highlight on my cheeks because I would go for 5.5 if I had to put like all over the face. Now, another one that is a recent discovery it was from last year. Well, not last year, this year. <laughs> uh, this is the by Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter. This you can also put all over your face under foundation. You can use it as a highlighter. It has a very nice, um, kind of like a very thick, um, as of a foundation uh, wand, kind of like, not foundation, like a under eye uh, concealer wand but very thick and uh, yeah it's it's very cool because it's very handy you can like put here and here in a very quick strikes and yeah here wherever you can put all over your face um, spread it with the, all over your face with a beauty blender it's amazing product here on the decollete on a like you know wherever you want to highlight it's like a, it's number three it has a little bit of like a it's clear in clear medium it's kind of a little bit champagne color it's really nice uh very natural uh glowy a uh, highlight now another f uh, highlight from that category like serum and uh, embellisher I don't have it right now, but it's one of my favorites uh, by Terry. It's called CC Serum Illuminator. I'm going to uh, put the picture up here or up there. Um, this one is amazing. It has a skin uh, care properties. So basically sometimes you can even like, if you have dry skin, it's amazing. And it's perfect um, under the makeup. And also, depending on the shade you choose, because they have like different on the pink side, more whitish, peachy, and like very kind of a dark. I think it's called Sun CC Cream, CC Serum, like very bronzy, especially for summer is nice. You can live it. Like it's something like this, but with more skincare properties, like CC uh, Serum, more liquid side. Amazing product don't have it right now now I have two favorite highlights here powder highlights first this is by Mac uh, mineralized um, soft and gentle mineralized uh, skin finish this is their classic I like it because it gives the most beautiful golden uh, finish not very like gold gold but very sheer also, because of it's a big pan, you can use it all over your body as well with a like bigger beauty blender. You can go and press it on your chest everywhere and it's beautiful. If you don't want to have this feel of oiliness or, you know, too much texture going on, uh, like it's very delicate, very elegant uh, highlight. I love it on the cheeks. It's never too much. You will never go overboard with this. It's wonderful and it's mineralized it's good for the dry skin as well so yeah it's so pretty and it goes with every skin tone like especially this one it's a number well it's soft and gentle I suppose this is the name for this mineralized skin finish on the more um, fleshy side of a highlighter I would definitely go for Becca. 
a highlight. It's called Becca, what is the exact name? Shimmering Skin uh, Perfector. Now, I have a small version of it. Small because I chose to have small. One thing, the big version of this highlight is really big. And I also think that it's not handy if you want to travel. You don't want to have like basically almost this size. But the thing is, this highlight is more fragile than the skin finish, for instance. It breaks. It's, it's breakable. Like it breaks. If, you, if it falls on the floor, it breaks. And it's very possible that it can fall on the floor. I mean, my little uh, highlight fell on the floor. It broke. But it's okay. It's a small packaging and i okay with this. I'm probably gonna get the same, but in a, like, the same small version of it. It's an opal. It's my favorite one. They also have champagne and they have also in some gold other white one. It's like more on a cool side, very beautiful. I... Well, it broke, so it's in pieces. I still use it because if I don't take it with me in the house, it's no problem to use it because I open it carefully. Normally, I go very lightly with a brush at this point, but I'm going to show it to you. You can use it with a damn beauty blender on your cheek and you have it like a wet effect um, highlight. In my opinion, it's one of the best highlight in the market. It's glowy enough. It's quite glowy, but it's... It has a very smooth and finely milled shimmer that it won't stick out as of this, you know, glowiness that doesn't, sometimes looks quite tacky. Now, that's uh, that uh, for the skin embellishers because the festive month is coming up and I know we're all preparing for parties, New Year's Eve, Christmas. Um, we want to look glowy, beautiful, festive, and maybe it will be helpful to you to choose your favorite skin embellisher. Thank you very much for watching, and I see you next week. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.